Hi guys, get ready for today's workout. We're gonna need a step and a couple of sets of dumbbells and make sure you're well hydrated for today's workout. It's gonna be a little bit of everything, cardio and sculpt. And let's have some fun. Let's start on top of the step, march it out. Take it out wide, straddle. Tap and reach it up right here. Make sure you have your weights ready to go. How are we doing today? All right. You're gonna grab one weight. I've got a 12, I've got 12s and 10s here. One foot on the step, one off. You can also do this not on the step. You're gonna take your arm out to the side. Palm is facing you, you're gonna squat with a row and a side leg lift. Lift that elbow up nice and high. Sink down into that squat, toe wall heel. So this is gonna be a mix of cardio and strength today. Getting it all in. Use your strength here. Use your shoulder to lift that weight. Make sure that 
foot is on the step, on the whole step. A couple more. Last one. We're gonna straddle that bench. You can put the weight down for a second. We're gonna have a wide toe turnout. We're not gonna use the step for this one. We're gonna do a swing. Hold on to the head of the dumbbell. And you're gonna squeeze that floor. Weight is only coming up to shoulder height. Breathe. So this is more of a hip hinge. Squeezing those glutes on the way up. So even when we're using weights, that heart rate's going up. Use what you have. Squeeze those glutes. Keep those abs in nice and tight. Hands are nice and light around that weight. Feel everything waking up here. Three, two, and one. Good job. We're going to take that weight in your other hand. Other foot comes on the step. We're going to bring it down. So you're squatting uneven and then bringing that weight up. Make sure you're pulling right up. Nice and smooth. Core is working here. This would be an example of a compound exercise which really keeps that heart rate up. Keep that chest lifted. You don't have to lift that leg too high. Just make it a nice smooth Outer thigh lift. Four more. Three, two, and one. We're gonna put that weight down. Woo! All right. Next cardio, just a little over the top. And we're gonna tap that toe behind. You can also do this on the floor.
three, two, and one. Come on up, put those weights down. Ready to come back up on that step. And we're gonna do that football run on this side. I have something in my eye. Four more, four, three. Left leg is gonna go down and up right here. Nice and quick. One riser on each side. If you want more risers, put more risers. If you're going to do this on the floor, let me show you what you're doing. You're going to be right here. So you see how my feet are going out and in? Same thing on the floor. You should feel that heart rate going up. This is great for agility training, your timing. Play with your speed here, but always stay in control. So at the end of that 30, 40 seconds, you should feel that you're at your max. Three, two, and one. Good job. All right, grab your weights again. All right, we're gonna do a bicep curl, side to side squat. It's gonna be a hammer curl. The palms are facing in. So you're gonna squat. One on top, one to the side, one on top. So you don't need to step for this one. You can do this on the floor. Ooh. You want to bring those weights up about three quarters of the way. Getting that squat, working the legs, compound exercise to keep that heart rate up. Making it metabolic, meaning that you're gonna feel the effects, your body's gonna feel the effects of this workout well after you're done. Ooh, spiking that metabolism. One more each side. Last one. Put those weights down. Ooh. We're going to keep those biceps working. So we're going to keep our hands on the step, walk it back. We're going to go over a cross mountain climber. So you're going to bring that knee across. You can do this with a tap or you can do it with a run. Ready? Here we go. Thank you. 
bend the knees a little more, unhinge a little more. I'm going to do this one from the front. You can also go one arm at a time. Push into those heels. Woo! These are hard. Work in that medial delt. Just a slight bend in the elbow. Eight more. Check my time. We're good. We're gonna work the inner thigh and the core and keep that upper body working. All right. Hands on your step. You're gonna straddle that step. You're gonna jump up with both feet to the step, hands in plank. So I'm gonna put my hands to the front, keep my legs close to my hands. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm gonna move back so you can see me a little bit. Go. Now, if you wanted to, you can tap from the top or tap from the bottom. Your feet are close to your hands, you cannot plank. I'm on the walls of my feet. Before 
you kick. Engage that knee up, engage that core. Get nice and low, tapping that bench. Finish it strong. Four more. Pushing in the heels, whatever's on the step or off. Two more. One more. Ooh. Good job. Breathe. Get one heavy weight. That's okay. Woo. All right. Kick and lunge, other side. Make sure when you lunge back, you're pressing that heel or that knee over the heel. Push into that heel on the floor. Push the heel on the step. Ready? Here we go. Now the music is there, just for a little background. This is fast. But if you're on the floor, you could probably do this a little faster.
bring it in. Woo. Good job. All right, do another one for the core. You're gonna grab one, I'm sorry, for the core and the front of the shoulder. You're gonna get one heavy weight, stand on the step. You don't need a step for this one. We're gonna do a side lunge with a push out. Legs and chest, front of the shoulder. So you have your weight right here. You're gonna step out, push out. The inside leg is straight. And then you push off that heel, so if you don't like doing it on a step, you can do this off the step. Lunge. You really have to push off. And you're getting that press out, keeping the chest working. Breathe. Keep that weight high and really pull in.
safely under your shoulders. So it's gonna be down, back in, up. If you don't like it up with both feet, walk it up. You can do anything with two feet, you can do with one. All right, here we go. I didn't do it the right way, but that's another option. You can keep your hands down one time. One, two, three, four. It's a lot on the legs and the core to bring both legs up at the same time. So here's your option. You can do this option. This is my club. Almost there. Good job. All right, I'm going to turn my step again. All right, I'm going to go to that uneven squat. I'm going to get a 10 for this one. Uneven squat. Instead of an upright row, we're gonna do a swing. Then you can have your palm facing you or the palm in. Only coming up to shoulder height. So you can test it out. I think I'm gonna have my palm down. Remember this one we did with the upright row. Still getting those outer thighs. Still getting the obliques. Soft landing.
Notice I'm not arching my back, keeping my chest lifted. I am working that outer thigh, squeezing as soon as I come out of that uneven squat. Remember, try with the hand in, do a few of each. You're feeling this leg, big time. exercise for the core. Spiders. One of my favorite planks to do. Knee goes to the outside of the upper, upper arm. On and off the step. Hands on the step. You're in that plank, feet apart just a little bit. Abs tight. You're going to bring that knee right up to just above the elbow without swinging. You're also getting that inner thigh.
be 15.
Good job. Woo. Another cardio. One of my favorites. And then we're gonna cool it down. One weight. I'm gonna do a 10. Rotational squat jump.
up, twist, up. I'm gonna grab a 12, I may go to a 10. So you're gonna twist right from here. Oh, we lost our music, it's okay. We've been at it a long time, I guess. All right, feet down to start. Twist, press, twist, press, twist, press. Now, if you want your feet up, test the waters, see how that feels. If it's going to limit your twist, maybe don't do it. Make sure you're breathing. Let that weight add that little extra twist, add that extra resistance. Make sure your lower abs are tight. when we were doing all those deadlifts and when we were doing all those planks. This is just a nice way to really target. Also feels good on your spine, allows you to open up that chest a little bit, and you're also getting a benefit through the back of the legs. So give me just four more here. You don't need to do a ton of these. Two, and last one. Let's sit back into child's pose. So what I forgot to mention on that one, there are a lot of variations you can do. You don't have to lift both legs and the chest at the same time. You can lift one leg and one arm, the opposite arm, opposite leg. So there's so many variations on that. Come forward and lift apart. You can keep your knees down there. You can also come up to your toes as long as you're not Bringing the shoulders up to the ears. Open up the chest. It's a great stretch for the abs too. Come on up. And we'll finish stretching. I'm sorry we lost the music, but it must have just been a cardio CD or music list. So we're going to have those feet out nice and wide. And you're just going to take it side to side nice and slow. Maybe bring that shoulder down. And I really want you to focus on your breathing here. We're gonna hold it to one side. You can take this toe up. You can go down a little deeper, but we're gonna segue into a calf stretch, a runner stretch. So we're gonna be right here. Now, if you didn't like this position, if it was hard to get to the floor, you're just gonna do this standing calf stretch. The front knees bend, the feet are a little offset, and the back heel is down. Same stretch. Doing that stretch in the calf. Now open it up and stretch through the hamstring. Now you can be right here, okay? This is fine, or if you want both those legs straight, just keep pulling that hip in a little bit. Bring it around, roll it up, and we'll repeat it on the other side. So take it down, maybe bring that toe up. Feel that nice stretch in the inner thigh and in this hip, quarter turn it for a runner stretch. It's a nice feeling for that hip too. And if you want, you can always see a little rotation here. Always remembering the rotation starts from your center, not just bringing the arm up randomly. So you want to be intentional. Bring it down for your hamstring stretch. Remember, this is completely fine. You have that back heel down. 
You can even pull that toe in or keep it up both legs straight. Keep bringing this hip in. Bring it over, fold over both legs. You have to go a little wider here and really let go. Walk your hands out. Jump or softly walk your feet together. Roll it up. Roll those shoulders, lace the fingertips behind you. Maybe kickstand it or give that calf an extra stretch by pressing it down. Open up the chest. Really feel the chest opening and the shoulders pulling down. Let's stretch out the tricep, bring that elbow, pressing the overhead in and down, and you can add a little side stretch here if you like. You can also bring the hands behind you. That's a fine stretch too. Other side. That nice opening through the obliques, this feels great. You can also take that stretch behind. Release it. Take a wide stance, take a deep breath up, bring the hands above the knees, and then roll it up. Big shoulder roll back. Let's do that again. Feels great on the spine. Bring it down, abs are tight. Shoulder roll. Inhale, hands to your heart. Thank you for joining me today. It felt great to be in this setting. Um, I hope you enjoyed the workout, but again, you can do it without the step. Just follow the variations. Just do everything that I said with or without the step. Um, and even if you have a little bit of a bench, you can always use that for your hands for any kind of plank or burpee. Um, even if it's not good to jump on, you can always have it to support your hands as long as it's sturdy. So have a great day, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Um, and keep the comments coming. You did a great thing for yourself, even if you watched it one time through, and then you're gonna do it next time. Sometimes it helps to have that visual and know what, you're, what you have ahead so you can plan. So remember, you did something great for yourself. Do the workout, follow the workout, and be healthy. The more you can stay healthy, the more you can protect yourself, your friends, and your family, and you're doing something for the greater world. It will just radiate to other people when they see that glow in your face, that you did something healthy for you, you will maybe inspire someone else. You never know. So have a great day, everybody. Namaste. And keep the comments coming. Make sure you hydrate.